Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at an alternative way to filter multiple columns in Power Query. So I came across a situation where I had some data and had a lot of columns, and I needed to filter out all the text values from each of the columns. And so if any single row had a text value, I wanted to filter out that entire row of data from my query. Now to do that, I set about using the filters up here and just filtering out each of those values and doing that for each of my columns. And here I've only got the one text value in this column so I actually have to come up to my formula and if I want to account for that then I got to edit the formula and here we're going to have NA. And then I have to do that for each of my columns here. So another three columns to go. And I end up having a big formula here for my filter. And this is also pretty unmanageable. So if later on I decide I need to add a third value to filter out for each of my columns, then I have to come and add that in for each of my columns. So instead, we're going to take a look at an alternative method that might be a little bit more easy to manage. So let's delete this filter step. And instead, what we're going to do is come up to the Add Column tab and add a custom column. And I'm going to call this Filter. And there's a function that I'm going to use called List.ContainsAny. And what this does is looks inside a list of columns, so that's the first argument, and then determines whether any of those columns contains any of the values in your second argument here, which is a list of values. So to create a list, we need curly braces, and then we're just gonna list out all our columns here. So that's a comma separated list. and then close our curly braces. And the last argument in our list.containsAny function is another list. So again, curly braces. And then here I need some text values. So these have to be in uh, quotation marks. And then here I'm just gonna list out those values And so this is just a list of two items. And then I can close off my list.containsAny function. And what this is gonna return is either true if the any one of these columns contains any one of these values or false otherwise. So let's add that. And you can see here that, for example, this row has a text value in this column. So we get true. Here we don't have any text values in any of the columns, so we have a false value here. And then we can use this single column to filter out all the true values. And then this becomes a little bit more manageable, so if we need to add another column or another value that we're looking for, it just becomes a simple addition to our list here. So maybe we're looking for value errors here now. And that's much easier to add into our filter step. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.